Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your April 2023. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. And what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this, uh, per, uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages, okay? Take, um, or collective messages for the collective Scorpio people. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when they go live. All right? Tell me about Scorpio in love. Tell me about Scorpio in love. Over energies for Scorpio regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for um, April 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we have the Magician here and the Knight of Swords. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. We have the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Okay, you might be receiving communication from somebody here. Yeah, you might be receiving communication about how this person feels about you. If there was an ending here, I do feel like this person is definitely coming back changed and different here. I feel like this person has changed their life in order for them to be with you, okay? So, um, you know, I feel like this person made something happen here. And I feel like this person wants to share that with you. I feel like this person has a lot to say to you here, Scorpio, okay? Or maybe you have something to say to somebody. A lot to say, the Magician here. The uh, Two of Wands, the uh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. You know, I feel like this person also had options here too. I, I, I just feel like this person was really fearful about making a decision here. Let's say they walked away with the Eight of Cups here, the World card, I feel like they're try trying to come back around. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like this individual learned some big lessons here. This person definitely wants to prove to you, Scorpio, that they have changed. Tell me about the death card here. Six of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, they have a lot of regret uh, about maybe how they treated you, the things that they've said to you here. You know, I feel like this person, you know, created, you know, uh, you know, came from a place of fear of consciousness and I feel like this person transferred over that to you energetically so and I feel like they're realizing that you didn't deserve you know that type of treatment and it seems like they're coming in to reconcile tell me about uh, Sagittarius uh, so tell me about Scorpio's person you could be dealing with the Sagittarius because uh, I keep looking at that judgment card uh, tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Scorpio for um, April 2023 Sun Moon Rising Venus signs for Scorpio we have the page of swords and the wheel of fortune I mean I, I feel like they want to tell you that they've changed. Yeah, I, I feel like they want to tell you that they've grown up here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Sun here, and the Three of Cups. So what we have, I feel like this person, like I said, this person is seeing you as their happiness. I feel like this person wants to get together with you, tell you, yeah, they want to tell you they want to be together. Yeah, they want to tell you that they've changed here. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, it could be that they have a change of mind or change of heart here, too. You know, if this person was unsure about you at some point, I feel like that's changed. Um, so, Page of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Knight of Pentacles. Mm, seems like this person's definitely experiencing a lot of stress and anxiety or that this person's just not feeling happy without you. But I do feel like they're coming back around very solid. You know, just a different, much more calmer energy, much more stable energy here. And you might see a difference here. Yeah, you might see a difference here. You might sense a difference. The Knight of Wands and the Sun, we have the Hermit. I do feel like this person really took some action here to do some deep inner work here. 
So I do feel like this person has something to prove. I mean, I feel like this person's guides and angels and ancestors are bringing this connection back together or that yours also working in tandem here to bring this to get back together. Uh, King of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are working together with their guides and angels and ancestors to bring this back together here. Because someone here has changed. And I feel like this is happening at the right time. Sort of like divine timing here. Okay, so uh, outcome and advice here for Scorpio regarding their love situation. What does Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on here for April 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Eight of Pentacles here in the Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles in the Hierophants. And the Six of Wands and the Empress here. Okay, so Libra, Taurus, Energy, Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You know, I do feel like you guys are going to really work things out. I do feel like you guys are going to equally put in the same amount of effort to make this connection work. But, you know, with the Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant here, I do feel like this person has changed so much that they are going to consistently stay on top of their insecurities, their fears here. Because I feel like this person does not want to mess this second chance up. Yeah, they don't want to mess up this opportunity here. With the Six of Wands here and the Empress, you know, I just feel like this person knows where, where victories and success lies here, uh, Scorpio, and it's with you. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Four of Wands here, and the Emperor. This person definitely has changed here. You know, so it's really important to, for you, you know, regarding the situation that you're dealing with. If you're in the situation, it's up to you. It's up to you. It, you decide if you want to take this person back or not. Okay, uh, the hangman, Piscean energy, the emperor here, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the hierophant, and the six of swords. It seems like this person has gained a lot of perspective here. I feel like this person has been enlightened here. And let's say this person has dealt with codependency here. This person's actively working on it and trying to move on and heal from it. Six of wands here, four of cups, the empress here, and the moon. I mean, they're definitely fearful that you will reject them here, Scorpio. Yeah, I do feel like this person has really put you through the ringer here. And, you know, I do feel like this person wants to offer everything that you've ever dreamed of. Everything that you guys talked about. I feel like this person is trying to materialize this with you. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like this person does not want to mess up this second chance here with you. And I feel like this person is doing everything that they can to make sure that doesn't happen. So I do feel like there's a huge shift in this person's energy. But like I said, it's really up to you whether you decide whether you want to take this person back or not. Uh, because you know this person better than I do, you know? So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.